Hi everyone! I'm going to walk you through today how you can better organize your Google Classroom. I love using the topic feature because it helps not only me but my students find the work easily. So stick around and I'll show you everything that I love. I'm going to show you today a couple of tricks for Google Classroom. So this is my Google Classroom page and you can see that our, the news, uh, I call it the news feed, but this stream often gets super overcrowded and busy. So I like to organize my assignments by subject and by topic and you can see that under the classwork section. So you can see here that I have all different topics. You can see them here on the left side. And if I scroll down, they are all listed below. So the way to easily do this is to hit create and to hit a topic. You can name your topic anything you want. And if you want to put an emoji in it, I know that's a lot of fun. You can download this emoji app called Joy Pixels. You do this by going under the three little dots, hitting more tools and hitting extensions and you want to find the emoji keyboard by Joy Pixels app. I will also link it below. When you click here, you can hit um, any kind of emoji that you want. So if you wanted, um, let's say I was doing something for writing, I can type in writing assignments and add my topic. So with the emoji, it kind of just looks a little bit more fun for your students and catches their eye, um, but you can do whatever you like with it. Now these move around, so you can click, drag, and pull them. So if you want to rotate the order by um, when, you, when you have the class or anything like that, you can do that. I like to put a today's work so I can just move the items for the day right there. It's easy for my students to see. And then I also make this I'm done now what section because your students always say I'm done, I'm done, I'm done. So my students know that they can go to this section and any of those items are good for them to do if they finish early. I also like to include a homework section so that any assignment that is due, the students know that they can find it over there. And then the rest of the work kind of just gets grouped together by subject. Another great thing about a topic is you can copy the link. So let's say I want to take this I'm done now and now what section. I can copy this link and I can paste this into my Google site. I can email this to students. I can put it in a Google slide for students to click on and it will go directly to that topic in Google Classroom, which is really great. Obviously, the, your students will need to be logged in, but they'll be able to see all of the materials for that topic. So the great thing about that is if your students, um, if you're working on a slide and you say like, okay, you're going to work on this math assignment, you can link the Google Classroom topic right to that and your students will get direct access. It'll be easier for them to find and stay organized. So those are some simple things that you can do. Um, don't forget you can either move it up or down or just drag it around. If you decide you don't want a topic, you can just hit delete. And I always remind my students to hit this classwork tab because it makes it easier. If they hit one of these um, categories on the left side, it will go directly to that. And then don't forget under settings, under the setting wheels, you have some other options for organizing your Google Classroom. You can include Google Meet link right to it, so make sure you enable that. You can also decide if you want your students to comment on assignments or only the teacher. You can decide if you want the notifications on stream to be hidden, condensed, or not, or show it full. So if I change that, um, I'll show you what that looks like. Then you can also decide if you want um, deleted items to be shown or not. And grading, you have options for grading right below. So if I take away 
the topics on my stream, you can see now it is only the main assignment, the main announcements that I have posted right to my Google stream. So it does keep it a little bit more neat and organized. Don't forget, you can also change your header or customize it by hitting upload photo and changing the theme around and remind your students to always view the upcoming work as well. That's helpful um, if they view that. And if they go back to classes and hit to do, they can see any upcoming assignments, any missing assignments that they might have. I hope this is helpful for you and I will see you soon.